Welcome back, Seahawks. Thank you for joining us on this week's newscast. I'm Caroline Paul. And I'm Grace Galanka. Stay tuned as we discuss updates on housing, city renovations, campus events, and some special people coming to Wilmington. After this year's record-breaking size of the freshman class, UNCW is leasing Plato's Loft, a private apartment complex for overflow housing this coming summer. According to the Port City Daily, the apartment complex is less than a mile from campus and includes 54 fully furnished units. The plan to lease the apartments was approved this past January by the UNC System Board of Governors. It's unclear what the rates of housing will be for the students, but the lease term is set for two years. We will keep you updated as we hear more. Now to Grace. As of January 28th, both inbound lanes of the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge have been closed. Here are a few updates for Seahawks traveling to and from Wilmington. According to the North Carolina Department of Transportation, the inbound lane repair should be completed by March 31st, ideally in time for the Azalea Festival. April 9th, the repairs of the outbound lanes will start. They are hoping to end the lane closure and repairs by May 23rd. However, the North Carolina Department of Transportation says this timeline is still subject to change. Continue checking online for updates and we'll provide updates here at Seahawk Central News when possible. In other news, the UNCW Director of Athletics, Michael Oblinger, has announced renovations to Brooks Field will begin following the 2024 baseball season and will be completed in time for the 2025 season. The UNCW Board of Trustees approved these renovations back in December. The renovations include replacing the entire playing surface with synthetic turf, construction of modern dugouts, and a new configuration of the outfield wall. Make sure to support the Seahawks this spring. Baseball season starts February 16th. Now to Rachel. Thanks, Grace. Wrightville Beach Renourishment Project is making progress with five of the 18 sections already completed. It is estimated to be completed sometime between March and April of 2024. According to WECT News, this is the largest beach renourishment project to ever take place on Wrightsville. With 1 million cubic yards of sand being placed on the beach, this renourishment project will take place from the Holiday Inn on the north end to about 500 yards south of the Blockade Runner. Stay tuned for more information. One Million Cups is a national movement dedicated to educate and inspire and connect local entrepreneurs and communities over one million cups of coffee. Every Wednesday at 9 a.m., entrepreneurs present business ideas to their local community. It provides you with a wide range of opportunities to present your story and meet their organizers. Join One Million Cups this Wednesday, online or in person, at the Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship. In other news, if you are looking for something to do on Valentine's Day, Ace has got you covered. Come by Chancellor's Walk between 11 and 1 to celebrate Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day provides you with the opportunity to meet some friendly faces and receive free gifts. Now back to Caroline. Thanks, Rachel. Hosier will be coming to the Wilmington's Live Oak Bank Pavilion. The concert will take place on Tuesday, May 14th. The tickets for the concert are, are already on sale. According to WECT TV Channel 6, the tickets will also be on sale in person at the Live Oak Bank Pavilion from Fridays 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Also coming to Wilmington is the third season of the hit Amazon Prime show, The Summer I Turned Pretty. The show is based off a popular young adult book written by Jenny Han. The show has been filming in Wilmington since the fall of 2021 and filmed in various locations such as Wrightsville Beach, Fort Fisher, and even on UNCW's campus. It's not yet known what the filming locations are for season three, but according to WECT News, the show will receive its location permit and applications sometime this February. Well, that's all for this week's newscast. If you have any tips or are looking for updates, you can find more at our Instagram at Seahawk Central News. Thank you all for joining us. We hope you have a lovely week and we hope to see you back here soon.